Today, we're looking at an inflatable hot tent from Wise Tiger. So before you buy it, let me try it and let you know if this product is worth the money or if it's just funny. This is a four person hot tent. It's a four person tent. If you're using it as a hot tent, there's no way you're fitting four people in here. But for the other three seasons, you could totally get four people in here. For, as a hot tent, I'd say it's max two people to be comfortable. You could probably squeeze three in here, but four, I just don't think it's gonna happen. We're gonna talk about the pros and cons of this inflatable hot tent. And then at the end of this video, I'm gonna pick three winners for my biggest giveaway ever. If you missed that video, I'm sorry that you missed it on the giveaway, but the video was still fun, so go check out that video. But I'm giving away a 20 by 10 party tent from CoBusy. So stick around if you entered that giveaway. We're gonna be talking about the pros and cons of this hot tent. We're gonna look at what you get with this hot tent. And then at the end, I'm gonna share the biggest con of this hot tent. So stick around to the end if you wanna see that too. So let's see what you get with this hot tent. You get this massive storage bag. It is really big because when it's all folded up, it's a big tent. I wanna say it weighs around 40 pounds. You get a hand pump. It does have a PSI valve, so you can see how many PSI you're pumping it up to. Just because you can tell how many PSI you're pumping it up to, doesn't mean you know how many PSI to pump it up to. None of the instructions, none of nothing in the bag tells you how many PSI to pump this up to. So I guess you just keep blowing until it gets hard. Speaking of it getting hard, it's been inflated for a week now and it is still hard. These, these tubes are still inflated. And like I said, it's been a week. We've had single digit weather. We've had over above freezing temperatures. We've had rain, we've had snow and it's still holding. I haven't put any more air into this since I blew it up a week ago. It comes with two TPU patch kits. Once you repair it, it says not to inflate it for four hours. Again, I left these outside, so I doubt these will be <laughs> useful in the future. It comes with 14 of these massive stakes. Spike on the bottom and a nice hook on top. The storage bag is lined with a tarp material. It looks just like one of those plastic tarps. And I don't understand why. If you can see this, there's water in between the two layers. Again, I left this out in the rain. That's my fault. But if you do the same thing or water gets in here, that water's getting trapped between those two layers. It's gonna be a little harder to dry out, but I bet you it will dry out. But I just don't, I don't understand why they waterproofed the inside with a tarp. But there's that. On either side, it has windows on the bottom with the zipper and closure on the inside. And this has a mesh on the outside for bugs for the other three seasons when you're not using it as a hot tent. Now let's take a look at the door side. Instead of the window sides, we have the door sides. But these are also window sides. It has two windows on either side of the doors, and the other side of this tent is exactly the same. So there's two windows on the other side and another door. Once you open up the windows, you get to the screen, and then it's, they're kind of framed out like actual windows in a house. So they look pretty cool, but unfortunately in the wintertime, they're not very functional. They do allow for more venting, which will help with condensation. But if you open the window, it's just wide open. This is just screen. There's no plastic covering it. I highly recommend they add plastic to these windows. Zip, zip in plastic covers would add a lot to these hot tents. I think windows in a hot tent are freaking awesome. In the giveaway video, I sat and enjoyed my coffee from inside a warm tent watching the snow fall on my birthday and watching icebergs float down the river from inside next to the fire. And I thought that was just wicked cool. I think more hot tents need windows, but this is just not the way to do it. It needs some kind of cover so that you don't just get cold air coming in and hot air going out. Let's go inside and check out this tent. So that might be con number one. The, the windows don't have plastic covers, but it does have windows. This tent has six windows all together. Right above the door on each side, there is a vent with a Velcro push out thingy. So if you don't want the windows open, you do have the vent option at the top on either side of each door. As we come into the tent, I have to say, I do love this style of, of tent and a normal A-frame cabin style tent is pretty cool in my opinion. It's one of my favorite styles of tents. As you can see, there are some loose threads. That is part of the screen. That is not a sewing 
thread that was part of the screen. And there are a few other loose threads. Like this one is coming out. Let me show you. This one's coming right out of the seam tape. It was just seam taped right over. Here's some more kind of over the zipper. That could cause a problem with the zipper getting stuck in there. There's another one. Right across the top you have a clothesline, which means you can hang up clothes in here for the hot tent to dry it out, hang up lanterns, hang up whatever you want right across. I do like that it includes this, but if it didn't, you could always add your own. Setup of this tent was wicked easy. That's probably pro number one. I have a compressor from Acacia. I just set it up and let it go. I highly recommend you get an auto inflating pump for any, any inflatable tent. It just makes it so much easier. Pumping it up by hand would probably take quite a while, but with my compressor inflator, it took about five minutes to inflate this till it was fully erect. I don't recommend blowing it up by your mouth. That would probably take forever and hurt your lungs a little bit. This tent is made out of an Oxford PU coated fabric. The fabric seems nice, but I do have an issue with the seams. Let's go over my water torture tests. I've had this tent in a snowstorm, in an ice storm, in a rainstorm. So let's see all three of those starting with the snowstorm. Got about four inches of snow last night and then some freezing rain. That's still, still pretty darn solid. No one here, but that's from the stove jack. The rest of it looks dry. I don't see water anywhere else. I mean, the stove jack is gonna leak. It's open. That's melted snow. I'm almost positive. There was a chunk of snow in here from when I... Huh? That is not melted snow. Stove jack's open and it's leaking. Like I said, that's normal stove jack's leak. It's a hole in your roof. That might be a leak right there. I hope I had that on film. Same with that. I don't think that's condensation. That's a lot of moisture for condensation. But that, that is from this. The first leak I found. This is that back door. Oh wow. There's moisture back in there. That seam. The seam over here, this far seam, that's leaking somewhere. Well, that's it for this one. Oh wow. That is not it for this one. That's a puddle. That's a puddle. <laughs> yeah, this one's leaking. So now that you saw the results, let's look at what it is now after even more rain, okay? Because it, it got worse. Oh yeah, that happens to be my number one con. It it leaks pretty bad. So let's let's check out the puddles that are in this tent and then give you my final thoughts. 
this is all coming down from that corner, which is opposite of the wood stove. This is not from the stove jack. Where's the water? I actually saw a drip. Oh, right here. It's still dripping. Right down this. Both, both this side. The peak coming down. That tube. And this peak coming down here. I mean... You could wash dishes in this puddle. This one's huge. Take a bath, if you will. Yeah, this one, this whole side, this, that side did it too. I don't think that puddle is from the stove jack because this puddle is from the stove jack. That's separate. You can actually see the drips coming down from there. This corner. Ooh. Ooh. I don't know if you can see that, but this is the smallest puddle. Now you can see it. That corner is the best one. Not that it's good. It's just the best one. It's the least, it's the least wet, but it's still pretty freaking wet. Yeah, that's, that's the biggest con. It, it, it leaks, but that's not the only con. So let's, let's see another con. Their con has to do with the door. It does have Velcro on the bottom, but it's only for the mesh screen. So in between the mesh and the door, there's always a gap. There's always an opening, and you can't close that up. So you're going to get cold air from that. It may help with venting, but in my opinion, if you want to be able to close this off, I think you should be able to, and you really can't because there's no way to do that. And that's the same on both sides for both doors. All right, last pro. With the stove in here, it did a great job in heating this up. It was in the single digits the day that I tested it with the stove, and it was wicked hot in here. So this, with the stove in here, it does do a great job at heating. And now, is this tent worth the money, or is it just funny? This isn't a cheap tent. It's $670. If you want to take the time and try to seal up these seams, all the peak seams, then it might be worth the money to you. If you don't, then this product might just be funny. Wise Tiger did send me this tent for review. They sent me this for review, but they told me that it was used by another reviewer, which and it got sent back to them after they were done. But they claimed that it was 100% perfect and in working order and brand new. So you might not have an issue with yours, but this one was used, or yours might come just like this. So I tested it as it was new from the factory because that's what they claimed. Let me know your thoughts on the Wise Tiger four-person inflatable hot tent. I really like the fact that it's inflatable. It only took five minutes to blow up. And inflatable tents are kind of freaking cool. I have another one over here that's massive. I can't wait to show you guys that one. It is really cool. I, I really like that tent. This one, on the other hand, it leaks. I, and it leaks pretty bad. There are massive puddles inside of this. So let me know what your guys' thoughts on this hot tent. Now let's draw some winners for the giveaway. All right, I have the URL entered right here. Let's fetch the comments. Anything goes, allow duplicates. Yeah. Three hundred and fifteen comments. Pick a winner. Now I'm picking three winners. First winner is. Uh, J Tall 24. I'm in Love the Will at Hot Tent concept. Man, J Tall 24. So do I. Let's pick another winner. Oh, I won. Look at that. Okay, let's pick another winner. Miles Robinson. My, I'm in. All of my, <laughs> Miles is a great buddy of mine. He's He met me through YouTube. You won again, man. Uh, he's won quite a few giveaways, or at least one in the past. At least one. Miles, you won again. That's so cool. Okay. Final winner. Chuni 1970. Now, hold on. This one doesn't say I'm in, so I got to check to see if he wanted in. Hold on. I'll, I'll be right back. Okay. It looks like he did not enter the giveaway, so let's pick another winner. 
Big Boy Classic. I'm in, bro. Thanks for the giveaway. I think that's a heck of a hot tent to camp in. All right. So all three of you guys, you won. To contact me at adventureswithspackman at gmail.com. Spackman has two ends. I'm going to ask you for your shipping information. I need it in an email. I will forward that on to the company to send you guys the, the party tent. I am not shipping it directly from me. The company is shipping it to you. So once I get confirmation on all that, I will let you guys know. But contact me first. Thanks for everybody that entered that giveaway. And good luck on the next one, guys.